Cierra los ojos. Imagina el futuro. La ciudad. Sus espacios. Sus dimensiones. ¿Dónde inicia? ¿Dónde termina? ¿Cómo son sus habitantes? Juega a ser un arquitecto especulativo. ¿Podrías? Pues el cineasta y arquitecto australiano Liam Young lo es. I call myself a speculative architect. What that means for me is that I don't design buildings, but I still work as an architect. What I do is I tell stories about the global, urban, and architectural implications of new technologies. I'm interested in the ways that these technologies are changing what cities are. So I'm trying to think about ways that we can think about cities differently or different kind of language that we can use to describe them because they're no longer discrete single entities. They're now a massive planetary scaled megastructure. And that means something very important for us as architects. It means that we can no longer keep doing what we're doing. It means that we need to totally rethink what it means to make a building in a city. ¿Te has preguntado qué son las ciudades ahora? Para John, las ciudades son enormes construcciones de tecnología sin fin. La ciudad está en todas partes. No hay una división entre lo urbano y lo rural porque la ciudad ha permeado todo. Y en esa ciudad, sin límites, todos estamos conectados. I think we need to understand that, that all of us are connected and now we can start to design with those conditions. And I think that's one of the important roles of the speculative architect to, is to project those technologies into the future so that we can start to become a little bit more ready for, for what it might mean when they arrive and we can start to direct them in the right ways so that they actually are a part of making productive and preferable futures. Hacia dónde apunta ese futuro? En la mirada de Jung, a un punto donde hombres y máquinas forman parte de un mismo y continuo ecosistema, donde el arquitecto debe reconfigurar su mirada y ver esto como un todo. ¿Cómo será la arquitectura de estos espacios? I really think that what we do as architects is shifting because we're no longer designing spaces for people. We're now designing spaces for machines. I think we have to get past the idea that we are in any way separate from technology. That there's not people and machines. We're all technologies in a way. We're all connected and we all share our lives with these structures and objects. <laughs> 